Hello again, and welcome back to Enderall. Um, last episode, of course, we came into Silver Grove and started working on the quest here and kind of exploring the, uh, the general area, um, around here and everything. Um, and we met the boy and we have to do like three wishes for him and all of that. Now, I tried to go back to town between, um, last episode and this one to do a bit of vendoring. However, um... It said, whenever I went to cast the scroll to teleport back to Ark, it consumed the scroll, and it said a sharp pain uh, goes through my body or something like that whenever I try to cast the spell. So it would appear that we are not actually able to leave this area until we finish what we're doing here. So, that's kind of what I figured, was we wouldn't be able to leave um, when those rocks fell. I thought, you know, it was like, okay, you're stuck here until you complete this area. And that is, in fact, the case. So... Um, I guess we're going to go ahead and pick back up where we left off. Let's go find, um, the boy. The boy, I can't... So, that old thing really did work. Oh. I almost thought it wouldn't. Just go ahead and talk to Reneas in his room. He's waiting for you. Thank you for taking the time to play with Reneas. He's a little ahead of the children around here, if you know what I mean. And I rarely have time to play with him myself. Anyway, I'll be at the house if you need anything. All right. Well, we're going to head on inside. His dad's a little bit creepy. His dad slash my dad. <laughs> I don't know. Okay. Oh, God. He's coming for us. Ah, uh, hey. That was really fun, wasn't it? You'll see. In Silver Grove, it's always like that. No one is ever angry around here, and they're all nice to each other. Hmm, you know, you could stay here if you'd like. I'm sure Daddy and the others would help you build a house, and then we could play together every day. Oh, great. I'll think about it, or I'm afraid that won't be possible. I have something important to take care of. I'll smile and say, I'll think about that. Awesome. I'm sure you'd be so much happier here than anywhere else. Okay. Anyway, I now know what my second wish is going to be. Ready to hear it? Shoot. Alrighty. As you know, I really, really love to collect butterflies. To draw them. And by now, I've drawn almost every kind that can be found around Silver Grove. Except for one. The Moon Glow Moth. And that's my second wish. I want you to help me catch some of them. Okay. I see. How can we find them? What do they look like? They look so incredibly awesome. Their wings are black and blue at the same time. And they shine in the sunlight like, um, like crystals. Normally, it's very hard to catch them because they are really, really tiny. But I know a trick. What kind of trick? You have to search with your eyes and your ears at the same time. If you listen closely, you can hear this weird ring noise that they make when they fly. And that can help you find them, even in the forest. Just be careful when you catch them. I don't want them to get hurt or anything. Here, I'll give you 15 jars. But if you find seven of them, that should be enough. All right, we got sharpened senses added to the spell book. Okay, understood. Any good spots where I should start searching? Yeah, the Moonglow Meadow. That's next to the old water mill. You have a map, don't you? Here, I'll make a cross where the meadow starts. I'll wait for you in the village, just in front of the tavern. Just meet me there when you're done. Have fun and good luck. Thank you. All right. Um, is that a constant effect? I actually have gangrene off to take care of that. Um, no, it is not. So it must be a spell called Sharpen Senses, or maybe a power or something like that. <clears throat> the flap of a butterfly can destroy whole continents. Perceive their wing beats. Oops. Oh god, the door is taking like. A year to open. I need to leave this place. Okay. Oh, 
Oh, there we go. If you cast it, you get this, like, effect. And I guess that allows you to see them. There we go. There's one. Oh, there we go. There's two. Okay. This, this is like such a bizarre... Oh, is that one? Yes, and I think there's one... Right there. One right there. There's one. Okay, I actually don't have to use that spell. There we go. Caught it. Optional catch 15 butterflies for, for Reneas. I guess we might as well. I mean, they're not that, not too bad to catch anyway. Oh, and we hit level 56 for killing wild animals. Good. So let's go ahead and take more health. Might as well. Okay. I was kind of coming over here just looking for butterflies, and I came across panthers and monkeys, so I'll take it. There we go. There is 15. Wonderful. Okay, so now we can head back to Rhinaeus. Maybe we'll get something special for catching 15. I always like to do that. You know, if they give us optional objectives, I always like to do those. So, but that's, that's actually going to be the... Hello. That's actually going to be the second wish down. Oh yeah, he said meet him in front of the tavern. Whoops. Whoops, whoops, whoops. Oh, he's just sitting out here. Ah, there you are. So have you already caught enough? Or do you want to keep looking some more? Uh, I'm not done yet. Give me some more time, or I think that's about all I could find. Yeah, we'll say that's about all we could find. Yeah, that's awesome. Thank you so much. I could never have found that many without you. I am sure that was fun. Wasn't it? Uh, it's not what I usually do, but yes. Um, or no, it wasn't. Just tell me what your last wish is and let's be through with this. We're going to say it's not what I usually do, but yeah, it was fun. Awesome! I knew you'd like it, and I've got something else prepared for you. Just let me take the jars back home first. See you soon. Okay. See Reneas for his last wish. All right. Ah, there you are. It was really nice of you to help Reneas find those butterflies. He's been trying to catch them for months now, but he's just not fast enough. You know, whenever I see the two of you, I can't help but see you as siblings. You should really think about settling down here. I'm sure the village could use someone with your abilities. Oh my, I'm, I'm rambling, aren't I? I think Reneas has prepared something for you. He's waiting near the back door. Ah, there you are. So... Be nice of you to help Reneas find those butterflies. Okay. He's been trying to catch them for months now. He just said he could see us as siblings. It's not possible, is it? Butterfly in a glass. Let's take them all. Oh. Okay. Hey, good to see you. Are you... Are you ready for my last wish? I think you will like it. Um, sure. I think I am. What is it? I'll tell you in a moment. Let's go to the old ruin near the waterfall. I've prepared a little surprise for you there. Come, lead the way. Head to the cave at the waterfall with Reneas. Alright, come on, kid. You're gonna have to keep up with me. Alright, so that's the one... Okay, across from the waterfall. Or the water mill, sorry. I think the only way over here is... Well, you can go this way, I guess. What is over here? I think it's really safe for this kid to be coming into this place. Like, I don't know if it's infested with stuff, or... I did find a chest over here. Kind of just checking out the area to see... I'm not seeing any kind of hostile creatures or anything. Uh, I got 54 penny coins. We'll head on over here then. Okay, we got the ruin at the waterfall discovered. Okay, see that door over there? That's the entrance. Here, this key should open the door. Alright. He's still following me around. 
So I guess he's coming in there with us. I'm assuming... This place is like really dilapidated. But I'm trying to be thorough, you know, to see if there's any like... Treasures or anything like that. Oh, here's an ice claw. Haha. Oh. There's a suspicious soil mound over here. Watch out, Renes. You're just gonna like eat fire. Okay, we got ancient crystal coins, uh, Pyrean stuff, sapphire. Nothing too crazy. Um, also, I do want to say I hope you all had a wonderful Mother's Day. And, uh,. And all that. Had a good time. Okay, what's... Okay. This door. Now, was there nowhere else that I could go to up here? Okay, now it just leads over here to the door. Alright, cave under the waterfall. I guess we'll head on inside. Which my inventory is not looking so great. Um, I'm hoping that we can get to a secure chest or warp back to Ark or something like that soon, hopefully. Um, but I did find out that my mom is coming back from China in August, which is awesome. Um, and apparently this here time... Here we are. It's awesome in here, isn't it? Take a look around if you want. Alrighty. Um, but apparently this time she's going to be staying, staying home. She's not going back, which is awesome. That's good to know, because she's been over there for quite a few years. And, uh, it'll be good to have her home and not, you know, not leaving right after. So. Alright. Uh, add that book on block. Not really useful to us, but I guess we can sell it. Which, actually, those books don't sell for all that much. But, it's still penny coins. We can throw some penny coins on it. Alright. So why are we here, kid? Did he stop following me? No, no, he didn't. Like, is this where he plays? Oh, man. Of course, I have this sneaking suspicion that he's going to be, like, evil. <laughs> and, like, change or something like that. Because, you know, the Black Stone's never been something that's just innately good. It's always had, like... I guess darker purposes or something like that. I mean, I guess it made Kalia better, but then she has the demon, you know, inside of her and stuff. So I'm just curious what's up with this kid. There has to be something. I mean, the town is already like mega weird. And then he can't just be, oh, I'm better. Nothing bad's happening. Okay. Just kind of checking out the area. I imagine up there on the altar there's going to be something. Oh, there's a painting. Does he paint? Pictures here or something? So, ta-da! That's the surprise I promised you. Do you see it? That's us, on the beach here in Silvergrove. Right where we tested the spear. Do... do you like it? It's really nice, isn't it? Yeah, it's great. Uh, who painted this? You? It's beautiful, thank you, Ranaeus. This is ridiculous. I don't have time for this. We're going to ask if he painted it. Why? Of course me. Who else? It turned out really well. Didn't it? It's beautiful. Thank you, Rhinaeus. Do you think so? I thought you'd like it, but I wasn't sure. Thank you. This, it really means a lot to me. Can I tell you my last wish now? After that, I will give you the stone. Just like we agreed. I promise. Go ahead. What's your last wish? I... I want you to stay here. What? I want you to stay and be part of the family. I'm sure Daddy would let you move in if I ask him. Then we could play together every day. And every night we'd have supper with Daddy like... like we were siblings. It would be so great, wouldn't it? Okay. <laughs> See, it got weird. 
Renee S. I, I can't stay here even if I wanted to. I already told you that there's something I have to do on the outside. Or have you lost your mind? I'm not going to stay here. Uh, we're gonna have to. We're gonna say that we have to do something on the outside. But why not? Why? I just don't understand. It's so much better here in Silver Grove than anywhere else. No one is ever hungry or sick, and there are never any clouds or rain. What is there in that stupid city that you need to get back to? The world out there, it's so, so cruel, so cold. Renaeus, I... Or is it me? It's me, isn't it? I've been a bad little brother to you, and all my games were stupid and boring. But I will change all that, I promise. I still want you to leave. Without you, I'll be alone again. And I don't want to be alone anymore. <sighs> alone? What are you talking about? You won't be alone here, even when I leave. Yes, I will be. <laughs> There's something I need to tell you, but I'm afraid about... that you will hate me when I do, just like all the others. There was, like, incorrect text there for just a split second. It was something about being worn out. I don't know. Um, I will not hate you, Reneus. What is it that you need to explain to me? Or I'll decide that once you've told me. Explain yourself, kid. We'll say we're not going to hate him. It's just, I don't know where to start. I never wanted them to be trapped here. You have to believe me, but it was the only way to make them love me. Back then, they were always mean to me, even though I never did anything wrong. Every time Daddy took me out on the streets, they called me freak, demon, and things like that. Don't you see? Everybody hated me. They all did. And it was all just because I had those bumps on my face, and my left leg was like a big clump. Only Daddy loved me, and he took care of me. But I don't get it. You were cured. No, no. I never was. All this here, it started when the old woman died. The old woman? Yes. One day she just fell down and died as she walked past our house. Her heart stopped beating, that's what Daddy said, but all the others said it was me. That I killed the woman with wild magic, because I'm a pathless demon, a freak. But that's a lie. I never wanted to hurt anyone, ever. They only said that because they hated me from the start. Hey there, it's alright, Reneus. Calm down. Or say nothing. Yeah, we're gonna try to comfort him. No. Nothing is alright. Nothing at all. They came two days after that happened. It was already dark, and Daddy and I were asleep when all of a sudden they came into my room and tried to pull me out of my bed. I screamed and I cried, and then Daddy came and started screaming too, and punched one of the men in the face. And then... Then... One of the women pulled a knife from her coat, and she... By the gods, they killed your father. Yes. I don't think she wanted to, but she just stabbed him in his belly again and again. And suddenly, there was blood everywhere. On the floor, on my drawings, on the bed sheets, even on Thoris's basket. Then they looked at each other in a weird way and just ran. Do you understand? They just ran and left me and Daddy there. I was so afraid, brother. I was so afraid. And then the stone started speaking to me. The stone? So you had it with you? Yes. Do you see the necklace? The stone is in there. Daddy said I already had it when they found me. I'm sorry I didn't tell you earlier. But I was afraid that when you found out where it was, you would just take it and leave. What did the stone tell you? It said that it could make everything better. That I could make it so Daddy didn't die. And that all my wishes would come true. I would finally be able to walk like the others. And everyone would love me as if I were normal. What did you do? What do you think? I said, <clears throat> yes. 
Then everything went black and I felt a tickle in my tummy, like when Daddy used to lift me in the air to play my rad. When I woke up again, everything was different. It was day, and my room was so beautiful and light, and there was toys everywhere, and Daddy wasn't bleeding anymore, but was sitting on my bed. And he told me that I just had a bad dream, and that I should go look in the mirror. And when I did, I saw that I looked different, like the other children, just normal. But what does all of this mean? That this world isn't that, isn't what, real? Yes, and no, it's the normal world. That's why I got the headache when I came it in. It is as I want it to be. As you wish it were? Yes, I think that this stone can make every person here in Silver Grove see the world that I want, and do what I want them to, even before I knew it myself. At first, I was so happy, you know? Everything was so beautiful, there were date pies every night, and everyone loved me. Even the other children played with me because I didn't have the bumps anymore. I was so happy. But now you aren't anymore. Why? Because I found out that they were only nice to me because I want them to be. And they all just do what I want them to do. All the time. When I play tag with Gages, for example, it's not really him that I'm running from. It's me. He's just like a doll. A puppet. And everyone who comes into Silver Grove becomes like that. Even if I don't want them to. But you are different. I felt it the moment Gummack let you through the gate. You see my Silver Grove? But you do what you want. Not what I want. So the stone doesn't have the full power over me. How can that be? Or, but if you're so unhappy in this place, can't you just go... Can't you just make the world go normal again? So we're gonna say... We're gonna ask how the stone doesn't have power over me. I don't but whenever I look at you, it's like, like a part of you isn't really there. I know it sounds weird, but that's how it is. But if you're so unhappy in this place, can't you just go make the world normal again? No, make no, world? I can't. The stone, they told me once what would happen if I did. Everyone would die, because they haven't eaten anything real for years. It's only me. Only my wishes that make them healthy, you see? And even if that didn't happen, I never want to go back out there. Daddy would die, and I would have the bumps again, and everyone would hate me. That is why you have to stay, don't you see? Together, we can be happy here, and I wouldn't be alone anymore. Please, I beg you. This is my third wish, and you promised me that you'd fulfill all of them. You promised me! We well, can either lie and say, alright, I'll stay with you. Or say, Reneas, I can't. There must be another way. Or I don't care what you want. Break this illusion right now, or I'll force you to. I'm, I'm torn at the moment. I don't know if I want to lie to him. Because, like, I, I do feel bad for the kid, assuming he's not, like, a crazy demon inside, which I don't, I don't, he doesn't seem to be. But, like, I don't want to lie to him and then just leave, and, because, I mean, I, I imagine he'd probably be devastated. So, I, I kind of want to be honest to him. And I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to say, Renaeus, I can't. There must be another way. No, there isn't. We'd all die if I made this world go away. You, me, everyone. You have to stay. I would if I could, really, but I I can't. Think, Rhinaeus, there must be a way. Why don't you believe me? There isn't. And even if there was, I wouldn't do it. You know why? Because you'd hate me out there, just like all the others. You'd see my face, the bumps, my leg, and you'd spit on me and just run away. I know you would, because it's always been like that. Always. I just can't take it anymore. Can't you see? I just can't. That's just not true, Renaeus. I wouldn't hate you. You say that now, but how can I know it's the truth? 
How can I know you won't run away when you see how I really look? Tell me. Tell me how I can trust you. Because I promise. I promise you that I won't run away if we make it to the outside. Promise, but maybe you're right. You were always nice to me from the beginning. But what if the storm is right and we really do die if I make this world go away? Not just the others, but us too. I'm so scared. I don't want you to die. We'll make it, I promise. Yes, yes. Maybe you're right. Okay, then give me... Wait, wait. What is this? I feel so weird. Oh no, the stone. It's in my head. Something's coming. Help me, brother. Help me. It hurts so much. I... Uh... Avatar of the Black Stone. So is he an Orbaya now? Defeat the incarnation of the Black Stone. See, that's kind of... Ah. Honestly, that's kind of how I imagined him looking. Because they got, like, a big bump on their head and stuff. I just imagined him as, like, a baby Orbaya. Okay. What? There's like red dots here. What? It says there's rats. Like since I killed it, did it reverse the world and like kill everybody? I really thought he was going to get out of there. Oh, I lost my training arrows and stuff. So this is what the town really looks like then, I guess. Oh man. It looks like I can't go in like these buildings. Human flesh, human heart. I'm betting that's daddy. Cause he was still sitting out in that chair. Oh man. Arneas' house. There's a corpse here. And it looks like we can't go into the tavern. Anymore. Wow, that's crazy. So everybody just fell over dead after that then. Alright, we'll go into Rhinaeus' house then. Oh. Uh, that's his dad, okay. So who was that out front then, I guess? Oh god. So that's what he really looks like then. Man. You were right, brother. We we made it. So he remembers. Yes, we did. Can you walk? We should leave this place. No. I I don't think so. The bumps, they, they hurt so bad, you know? I'll go look for a horse. Stay here for now. Yes. Thank you. Okay, find a horse to take Rhinaeus with you to Ark. Man, that is, that is intense. Okay, well, I'll see the horse over here. Okay. Take Rhinaeus and the Blackstone back to Ark. Man. And he does look drastically different. I wonder who that person is out front then. Because at first I thought it would be Daddy, but Daddy's body is in there with Rhinaeus. So I don't know. See, here's my thing. Like, if this is Daddy, that makes a little bit more sense to me because everybody just died. You know, where they were, I guess. 
Um, even though Rhinaeus isn't as bad. But I think it, it transported them back to the night that Rhinaeus changed the world. Like in a sense, right? <clears throat> Except the, the towns become ruined down and all of that. I don't know, but this I would think would be Daddy. Because he was sitting out there like the whole time. Um, but that's got to be Daddy's body on the floor in there too. So I don't know. It must have been somebody else that died or something. But that would be the only explanation for his body being here and the dagger and all that stuff. Is that it took it back to the night that it all happened. Alright, Renaeus, we can go now. Daddy? Daddy, is that you? I'm so sorry about the vase. That was Thoris. And I... <coughs> Renaeus, it's me. Yes. Yes, I saw one of them this morning. You were right, you know? Sometimes, all you need to do for a wish to come true is to hold on to it long enough. Can you... can you start us a fire now, Daddy? I'm cold. So cold. Really? Really? Why? Why? I was... I got a horse! <sighs> Reneus. He just died on me! Reneus, can you hear me? Let's feel his pulse. He's dead. Yeah. Seriously? We can either take the black stone from his neck or bury him. I feel really, really bad for the kid. You know, I was expecting him to be like the crazy, like, mastermind behind everything. I mean, I guess kind of he was. You know, he made the world and it was all based around him. But, but still, I feel really bad for the kid. Like, and then he dies on me. I thought I thought we were going like, to get him out. He's going to go back to Ark and he was going to live in my house or something. You know, that's kind of what I expected. I didn't expect him to just die on me. Um, I'm just going to bury him. I'm not going to worry about taking the black stone. I'm sure they can find another one. That's going to be my first and foremost. Oh, okay. I did get the stone though. Okay. I was thinking I'd bury him and maybe we'd just find another one to go get. So that's it. Just he dies on me. Man. Man, that is hard to believe that that's how things end up going down. Like, that's a bit depressing. <laughs> I don't know if there was a way that I could have saved him. I don't... I don't know. I mean, it, it feels like that was just destined to happen. But I, I'm still... Unsure about how everything... You know, how it works. How it all works out because uh, there was a fortress in that direction. I'll probably have to go dump off items because I mean we have well you actually have a little bit of carry weight. I could do a little bit of exploration I guess. I'm still very unsure about how you know things played out because the, where the bodies were. Like the fact that the daddy's body was Laying there on the floor means, I mean, it had to have been, it had to have taken us back to the night that uh, his dad was stabbed. It has to be that. So, I just don't understand... Unless maybe it just takes us back to where their bodies were when they died. So maybe the rest of those people, their bodies were taken back to wherever they died when they stopped eating. You know, because, I mean, if everybody wasn't eating food, I don't know, I'm just unsure. I'm unsure about that. I don't know, like, it's very bizarre. There's an ice claw. And I'm not sure the exact timing on that. Which I know it's not really a major, a major thing. 
but uh, it still boggles my mind. I'm just still trying to figure out exactly when it brought us back to, you know, or when it, basically where the bodies died, like what they were doing, that kind of thing. Oh, there's like the old silver fortress. Oh, we just broke out of, um, Well, hello, buddy. He's just walking up, like, going to get the door. Oh, it's weird, because if we walk back into here, maybe I'm not supposed to, uh, leave this area yet, like this way. Which I do know that we didn't meet the woman in black. And she's been there, you know, in regards to every other stone. So I don't know. I'm going to head maybe out to, like, the gate. I'm going to take a look and see what the gate looks like from here and stuff like that. And we may end up coming across her in the process. I mean, it seems like everything's back to normal. I can hear music, finally. And, like, right here is where the rocks collapsed. But they're not there. So I guess she just wasn't present within this one. For some reason, the sound goes off when I get in this area. So I don't know if there's something that I, I was supposed to do that I didn't do. And the sky gets all, like, gray and overcast like that. Okay, this old silver fortress. I'm gonna... Wow. There's one down. Ha <laughs> ha. Okay, and there's sound here. It must just be not around the town for some reason there's no sound. I have no clue whatsoever. But I figure we'll check this place out in the beach down there. We're not gonna go... I know there's some, like, ruins near here that we could check out, but we're not gonna check those out just yet because, um... This place is wild. That leads into the old silver fortress. Okay. But I don't want to check out those other areas right now. I know it's getting fairly close to wrapping up point. And also my inventory is like shot right now as well. I didn't even see him. Did not even see him. Generally, I like to consider, I like to think that I have pretty good eyesight on here, but not that time. He was like right up on me. That leads, oh, there's one up there. That leads into the old silver fortress as well. <laughs> that leads into the old silver fortress. Man. There's doors all over the place here. Okay, there's one. Oh, this one's got a bunch of health. Good. Good thing. Honestly, I wonder... If this fortress wasn't manned by those people and then they died. You know, and then when the world changed back. I never came over here during the like alternate world I mean they probably honestly they probably weren't dead then or I mean they probably were dead then too I don't know but just a thought actually a bunch of blueprints and stuff there but nothing that really stood out this is really eerie considering like <clears throat> I don't know just it's so quiet there's like a hundred entrances to the silver fortress I guess we're going to go on inside because I think I've killed everything on the outside here. I'm assuming all these doors lead out. Pow! You're dead. Okay, Magical Ward Rank 3 Spell Tome. I hear something. It sounds like it's breathing. 61 penny coins. <clears throat> A lot of arrows through here. Okay. Oh, there's a trap right there. What does it do? Oh, something's coming from upstairs. Haha! Okay. 
Actually could have set it all on fire right there. That leads into the Silver Oasis. Okay, so it seems like it's going to be like little small areas here. Um, oh, spare parts, we'll take it. I mean, this place isn't massive. That's why I figured we'd check it out. Um, but I could have shot that, right? No? There we go. It looks like that's actually everything in this section. But I think the other the other side has its own like rooms as well. Alright, so over on the other side, let's check this one out. Aha! Aha! Okay. This place is a breath of fresh air, right? Is that really a toilet? Or was that like for butchering animals? I don't know. I'm thinking that's for like butchering animals. And then it just goes back outside. There's no way to go up here. Okay, so the up one must be a separate section then. Yes. I see a chest there too. Lord of the Lost Ones. But not anymore. Summon sword rank two, spell tome. We've got a wild, uh, wild mage hood of magic. We'll take that. Unknown traveler. All right, what do we have in this expert locked massive chest? Penny coins, gold, all of that. Eleven spare parts. Okay, I still can't believe Renaeus just died like that. That just boggles my mind. Commander Greatsword. And Selna's Ventail. Everybody got that before. I'm going to go ahead and take both of those because we've got the carry weight and we're probably going to be headed back to Ark fairly soon. So I figure why not. Now there is, I will say there is a couple other things here I'd like to check out, but we're not going to check them out um, in this trip. You know, we'll, we'll teleport back and, and explore those just to finish out the area uh, once I have a little bit more carry weight. But I really feel like me and the kid have bonded, even though I thought he was creepy, like the majority of the, you know, the quest line. I honestly started to like, I guess, like consider him a friend, you know. And I was kind of, I was kind of sad that he died, honestly. Because I mean, he really didn't turn out to be that bad. I mean, what he did, he did just because the people were mean to him. I mean, I can't, you know, I can't knock him for that. I don't feel like. I guess this boat doesn't actually... I shot those, by the way. I shot them earlier. Okay, that seems like everything in this off in this direction. So, the beach does wrap around over here, and then there's like a dungeon and some other stuff. Um, But I think right here, we're just going to head on back to Ark. Because I need to sail and stock up, and then um, probably at the start of next episode, I think we'll go ahead and... Uh, no, I tell you what, because I don't want to turn that in, that black, that last black stone in, and then it'd be like, all right, time to go, do things, important things. So I think at the start of next episode, we're gonna come back here, we're gonna explore those like two little dungeons or whatever that's um on the other side of this little like valley, because I want to go ahead and just be able to say, okay, I've explored this whole valley. I don't want to leave it as like a loose end. And then what we'll do is we'll go back to Ark and we'll go turn in the black stone probably towards the, the end of next episode. I think it's, it's kind of weird to be back here. We've been gone for a while. Quite a while. But yeah, so that's that's the plan anyway. Uh, just because I want to get that place fully explored and everything. So, And actually, yep, we killed Captain Plum so we did complete that quest. We'll go ahead and get another bounty. Um, it says the Vatir Six Hoof is hiding in the Dark Valley. It's an especially evil and cunning Vatir, which attacks travelers on their way to the Frostcliff Tavern time and again. There are 470 Andralian pennies issued for its death. We'll go ahead and accept that. I almost forgot that we'd killed uh, Captain Plum, you know, on the way to... Uh, when we were making that long trek over to the Silver Oasis. But I think with that, I am going to end out this episode. 
Um, and I hope you guys enjoyed it. I thought it was a that quest was excellent. It was very very well done. Um, very very happy with it. But anyways, if you guys enjoyed the video, as always, be sure to hit that like button and go ahead and subscribe if you're not already. To stay up to date. Sorry, that guy's preaching. Stay up to date with uh, when new videos and stuff come out. So. Anyways, I hope to see you guys next time. Until then, as always, do take care, stay safe, and I will see you then.